And now, your News 13 Skywatch weather. Hurricane Milton in the Gulf, a very serious, dangerous hurricane. This is the latest track, and you can see no impact to the Carolinas. This storm is going to zip across Florida and then move out into the Atlantic. The timeline on that, probably making landfall there on Wednesday night, overnight. Here's 2 a.m., and it looks like it's moving inland. Somewhere around Tampa, could be as far south there as Port Charlotte. It's a Cat 1 when it comes out the other side near Cape Canaveral. So let's talk quickly about storm surge. This is what is really concerning me. And if you've got friends in western Florida, they need to heed evacuation orders. Because this storm was as strong as a Cat 5, it piled up all this water. So even if the wind speeds weaken as it moves inland, like Katrina, we still have very powerful storm surge that comes inland here. So they've raised the storm surge threat 10 to 15 feet in Tampa Bay down to Inglewood, 6 to 10 feet up north of Tampa, 6 to 10 feet down into Bonita Springs, 4 to 7 feet all the way down to Chokoloski. Now, when the storm comes out the other side, the circulation around it pushes water in on the north. So we're going to see some storm surge from roughly Cape Canaveral into Brunswick, Georgia, three to five feet and up to Edisto there, two to four feet. So there will be some impacts on the eastern coast from this storm. Again, no impacts here. I've got a look at our forecasts coming up.